Hi, my name is Ila, or you can call me Eric. That's my Kalunak name. I'm five years old. I like to tell you other kids about my canoe trip last summer. We flew from my home in Cambridge Bay. That's in Nunavut, in a float plane, which is one of my favorite things about living there. I get to fly in float planes every summer. After a long flight, maybe one hour or a hundred. The float plane left us beside a lake mostly covered with ice. Then we went for a walk. Me and my mom and dad, but I call them Lori and David. If you ask me what the best part of the trip was, I say paddle, rapids, and fish. I have my own paddle, and sometimes I paddle. I'm really strong. Want to see my muscles? I caught lots of fish with my new orange fishing rod, but I especially remember the first one, my first ever. I could hardly believe I had a fish on my hook, and it took a long time to bring it into the canoe. It was a really big trout. Another really fun thing was skipping stones. At first, I was lucky to get two or three bounces. By the end of the couple of weeks, I could get it to go for seven or eight. Still, though, I get lots of singers that go clunk. We saw muskox and caribou and lots of birds. Every night in the tent, I look through the bird book to pick out all the birds we saw. My favorite is the peregrine falcon because it's the fastest. And we saw one kill a duck in midair really cool and i saw one of their nests too with four eggs in it one place where we camped there was a big hill so i told david and Loya that there's buried treasure up there on the hill and we climbed up to look for it i saw all the she shells on the hill from that time it was sometime just after something called the ice age when the whole place was covered with ice right up to the sky. One time we stopped at a place beside the river where some people just like my great great grandparents to used to live. There were stone rings where they had their tents and big piles of rocks where they used to keep the meat or fish they caught. There was lots to see. I saw big and small lakes and rivers and every day we marked on the map where we camped. I saw the wind blow the ice across the lake one way one day, so it piled up on the shore, then switch and blow it across the other way the next day. After three weeks, I was glad when the full plane came to get us again to fly home. But for for sure, it was really fun trip. If you can get your mom or dad to take you on a canoe trip up here, bye now.